This is the I Am Salt Lake podcast, showcasing local talent, professionals, and everyday people making Salt Lake City what it is today. Hey, what's up, Salt Lake City? Welcome to the I Am Salt Lake Podcast, episode 20. I am your host, Chris Hollifield. I am your guide from episode to episode, showcasing a new individual or professional or just somebody doing something really awesome here in Salt Lake City. If this is your first time downloading, as I always say, head on over to the inter- head on over to our website on the internet at IamSaltLake.com. That's going to connect you and uh, be able to listen to each and every episode of the podcast. So anyways, this is a really, really special episode. It's episode 20, a huge milestone in the podcasting world. So I'm happy to be here and thank you very much for your support and for your uh, constructive criticism. Kind of helped me get to where I'm at today with the podcast. So send me on over an email. I'd love to hear back and any feedback that you uh can give me. I, I love, uh, always love that. I am Salt Lake at gmail.com. So anyways, uh, in this episode 20, I had the opportunity to sit down and talk with Jeffrey Stedman over at the uh, Yelp.com. He's in charge of the Yelp community here in, in Salt Lake City. Uh, he's a community manager. I met him about a year ago, actually. It was uh, my birthday, my 34th birthday, and uh, I'm not really going to give too much uh, too much away. I'm going to let the conversation uh, tell you tell you how we met. It was a really fun uh, fun fun time. It was uh, it was an evening, my 34th birthday, and uh, he showed up and uh, spread a little bit of that Yelp love that he he does. And so anyways, uh, Yelp is a really great app. If you haven't downloaded it yet, check it out on your smartphone. It's really cool way to find out about local businesses, especially with the holiday seasons here and uh, find out who you want to support and and get those Christmas presents for your uh, friends or loved ones. So download it and uh, start giving some businesses some reviews. So Anyways, I'm not going to ramble on too much. I kind of want to get right into the conversation that I had with Jeffrey uh, over at uh, the Sorry Clementine store. And uh, we met after hours, sat down and had a little conversation. And this is the outcome of that conversation. So thank you very much, Jeffrey. And thank you very much for listening to the I Am Salt Lake podcast. Why don't you give us a little bit of history about yourself and how you got involved with Yelp and, and what your role is with Yelp. Okay. Uh, officially, my uh, title is community manager, which is exactly what it sounds like. I'm in charge of the Salt Lake community here with Yelp. So, uh, not only in charge of the community of people who are using Yelp, but like the community at large of trying to, you know, tell people about Yelp and spread the the gospel of Yelp among Salt Lake City. Um, it, it's it is my full time gig, and uh, I've been doing it for a few years now. And I got in. How did I get involved? It was just serendipity, man. It was I had a a uh, friend in, I went to school in, in uh, Michigan, went to Michigan State, and had a friend, saw that they were hiring in Detroit, and she sent over the job and said, look, they're doing this in Salt Lake City, too. You have to apply. And uh, So yeah. before you did anything in Salt was there ever any kind of Yelp involvement in Salt Lake City before you got involved? I mean, Yelp, the website and the app yeah. was, was available in Salt Lake City, but we didn't actually have any feet on the ground. So I'm the first, like community manager, first uh, full-time person here for Yelp in Salt Lake. And Yelp is based out of California, though, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And how long has Yelp been around? Uh, we've been around about seven years officially. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, almost eight. Um, and we just started out in San Francisco and said, look, if we can do it well. I mean, that's the thing is we really want to be local wherever we are. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're getting to be a, a decent-sized company. We're still a small company, but, you know, we're, we're growing. Um, but... Wherever we are, we want to be super local. So yeah. it's not like we just blast everything out and say, you know, whatever. If we're hitting, you know, if we're hitting markets, we're hitting markets. If we're not, we're not. So we put somebody on the ground, and I, my, I'm, I'm specifically here in Salt Lake. I know Salt Lake. Um, I'm working with people in Salt Lake, local businesses in Salt Lake City, like really trying to shine a light on the really, really rad stuff that's around here. And let, let's touch on that actually in a minute here, but for. I'm sure there's going to be somebody that that's listening in that maybe isn't familiar with Yelp. Okay, how would you like when you're trying to describe Yelp to somebody? How yeah. what what is Yelp? Yeah, yeah, it's a good it's a good question. Uh, Yelp, our job at Yelp is to help 
people find great local businesses. And we do that online at Yelp.com and through the mobile app that's free on just about any platform that you have out there. So, you know, Yelp is a service that helps you find local businesses by reading people's reviews. And then we actually invite you to, to log on and write your own reviews about stuff that you love, your favorite stuff and not so favorite stuff uh, around town. So it's, I mean, it's an insider's locals guide to, uh, to Salt Lake City and to, to all the cities that uh, where we are. So, I mean, it's a great app if you're traveling, if you're local, it, all, all the way around. I mean, download yeah. it on your iPhone, your Android, whatever. You yeah, know, yeah, boom, yeah. Boom, boom, which we could talk about here more in a second. So, but would you say it really took off? Because obviously it was just a website mm-hmm. or, originally. There wasn't smartphones and iPhones and all yeah, that. Yeah. But it really took off when, when it got introduced to the smartphone market? Or, or is that kind of... Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, like I say, you know, we we um, when we started, you know, we started in San Francisco, and uh, you know, they just really wanted to be successful there, and and really were before I think mobile was a big deal. Um, but you know, mobile mobile is a is a huge deal for us now. I mean, we had so last quarter, for example, uh, we averaged every month eighty four million visitors to Yelp every month. Um, and then on, on the app, we're at about eight and a half million or so users last quarter we averaged. So the numbers, I mean, we're, you know, mobile still has a long way to go. Um, but I will say that, uh, 45% of all the searches that came through Yelp came through the mobile app. So what we're seeing is that people who have the app are super engaged. Almost half of all the searches that come through Yelp come through people on the mobile app. So yeah, I mean, it's obviously the direction that I think people are headed you know you're just using our phones for more and, yeah. and yelp is one of those things you're out in a neighborhood you don't know you're in west valley you've never been in west valley you want to find a good burrito and you punch it up and see what real people have said about where to get a great burrito in west valley how many how many yelp users do you think there are in the salt lake city area or any idea uh yeah we actually don't break it down by market right. like okay. that we just want to give you the best number available so I got you. 84 million and and about eight and a half I on that yeah my, when I first think of Yelp, I think of, you know, food reviews and, mm-hmm. and all of that, which, but it goes further than that. I mean, because you cover all businesses, right? I mean, yeah. everything, you know, from your doctors to the small business, like, you know, sorry, Clementine here. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, uh, yeah I mean, why, why do you think the food gets looked at a little bit more? Just Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you mentioned a couple, a couple there that I, I really kind of like. I love reading doctor reviews. And in fact, I just wrote, I write a, a weekly newsletter. You find it at yelp.com slash weekly. It's called the weekly Yelp. And I pick a topic every week. And I just wrote one called, um, God, what did I call it? Something like, wait, you can Yelp that, or you can totally Yelp that. And it was about some of the lesser known things that you can Yelp. And one of them, I got to tell you, man, there was this amazing review this lady wrote over OBGYN. It was, it was awesome. But you know, it, it, I got to think if I'm, especially if I'm new to town or if I, you know, I'm looking for a doc and you read, you know, and this guy has a, a, several reviews, right? Um, I hope, <laughs> I hope that we're going out to eat at restaurants more than we're visiting the doctor. And so I think that's one of the reasons that uh, we get a reputation as being a, a restaurant review site is because. You know, just by frequency, we're, we're going to more restaurants than we are car mechanics or shoe repair places. Um, but it's interesting to note that about 23% of the businesses on Yelp are shopping, right? That's the lead category. So restaurants aren't even the most, uh, the highest category at Yelp anymore. So 21% are restaurants, and then it goes down from there, local services and stuff like that. So, um, you know, anything with a physical address, you know, is Yelpable. In fact, this issue I wrote... You can write a review of the Great Salt Lake. You can write a review of Spiral Jetty out there. You can, uh, you know, you can write a review of, like, say, your OBGYN. You can. So do you, ch- do you check into everywhere that you go? Then <laughs> I do. I, I do. I do. Yeah. We we so on the app you can check in, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you know if you have the most check ins at a place, uh, you become the Duke, and if you have enough. Which is a, it's a fun game. It's a yeah. Fun, it's a fun game. It, it, it is. It is. I think. Um, you know, I'm less interested personally in the game aspect of it. Like when I check into a place, I'm checking in um, to remind myself that I've been there so uh-huh. I can remind myself to write a review of the place later. I'm checking in because a lot of businesses are now offering a check-in offer. So like you check in somewhere and they give you, 
you know, 15% off just because you checked in. You just show them your phone. It's a little coupon that comes up. Like a lot of business owners are reaching out to Yelpers that way. And it's a, it's a free thing for them to do and kind of, a, you know, a neat perk for checking in. So, I mean, there is, you know, the game aspect to it. But really, it's it for me, it's more about having all the great information. So do you think more it. businesses are, are getting involved with Yelp with offering the check-in deals then? Do you see more and more? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I Absolutely. do. I do for sure, yeah. And, so, yeah, when we have, you know, Yelp deals, so you can search um, and see if there's a place – for example, here's a little tidbit for you. There's a new Southern and Soul Food place that just opened in Draper okay. uh, called uh, Papa O's. Papa O's? Yeah, Papa O's. That's what it's called. Yeah, I, th- I saw you tweet about that earlier. Yeah, actually. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so, um, and they're offering uh, not just a, a check-in offer, but they have a, what's like a Yelp deal. So, you you know, it's like a $10 for a $20 certificate. It's all done on your phone. You go in and show them and you get, you know. You pay ten bucks, you get twenty dollars certificate. It's a Yelp deal. You can also buy a gift certificate, a regular straight up gift certificate on the side. So, I mean, there's some of that kind of stuff. But, but it's all they've opted into it. So I'm, you know, I'm seeing more businesses really acknowledging that Yelp is becoming a big deal, yeah. and and trying to reach Yelpers and reach through and 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 get people out to their business. And I'm glad. I mean, you know, I want more people to go to Papa O's and try it out. It's cool little local business, um, Southern soul food, not something you see a ton of in Salt Lake. So. Yeah, more power to them. I'd love to shine a light on them and get get people. So I mean, to it's know about it's it. important to a city like Salt Lake to to have an active Yelp scene. I guess you would say just because then you know it helps the small business. It helps. Yes. It helps yeah. everybody because it gets their name out a little bit, right? I mean, yeah, that, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. And, and you know, and you get uh, you know for a lot of years, you mentioned traveling, right? Yeah. So when travelers come to town. And they want to find a great bar downtown, or they want to find a really cool restaurant, or they're looking for the best hotel or whatever. You know, it helps um, some of those places that may not be able to, you know, have a huge budget to advertise to to travelers. Do you feel that the reviews are always credible though on Yelp? I mean, because I've seen I've seen some reviews written even out of spite a little bit. I mean, is that is that fair to say? Or I feel it could. Could almost ruin a business if if somebody isn't careful. Well, I mean, I feel like it's a good question. Um, I feel like the first of all, I think the best thing a business can do is provide really, really great service. Yeah. Um, and as they do that, um, people are going to take notice. They're going to get great reviews. I mean, you, if you if you provide a great service, you're going to get great reviews. You know, people there are negative reviews. I mean, yeah. you can give one star, you can give five stars. About eighty percent of the reviews on Yelp are three stars or higher. So people are typically more positive. But yeah, negative reviews do come up. We we uh, make an extreme effort to make sure that only the best and most credible reviews are on the site. Um, we want um, we want you know you, you can look at a person's profile for example yeah. who's written a review and say you know how many reviews has this person written and are they typically negative or positive we provide all that information you can look at their their profile and then that's the great thing about having an active community is like i go through and i see places that are reviewed and, and i see ryan k gave a place four stars i know ryan i've been at events with him like i know his taste is pretty close to my taste or if i see somebody else i might say well you know i typically like add a star to what they have to say or somebody else who i I see as a reviewer, I can, um, you can add people as friends on Yelp, so their reviews come up first. So, you know, if a place has 200 reviews, or like Red Iguana, which has 530, I think, the last time I checked, your friends come up first, so you can see, you know, what, what they think about a place. Because, you know, you're going to trust your friends more. So Yeah, because, I mean, obviously, it's, it's the same with any market. You're going to have that one person who maybe doesn't understand how it works, so they're gonna, they might give a bad review or, or not really understand, okay, you know, what is So uh, whatever, you know, it it was the same thing when I used to sell stuff online on eBay. I'm sure, you know, you get that one person who just isn't can't be pleased, isn't pleased. And so I I think people, you know, I guess I kind of answered my own question here with people kind of uh, notice, ah, well, you know, that person isn't really reputable on Yelp. They don't know what they're talking about or something. I don't don't know. Well, yeah, you're just you're going to you're going to you're going to associate with somebody right yeah. if you're reading it and you're like i'm kind of vibing what they're saying like that sounds like 
Yeah, that's the kind of thing that, you know, they, they're calling out things in their review like, oh, yeah, there's graffiti on the wall and the PBR cans are stacked. And, and that's kind of your scene. You know what I mean? I'm talking about pie holes. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about there. Yeah. Then you're like, yeah, that's kind of my scene. And, the, you know, the kind of, you know, you're kind of feeling it, right? Yeah. So you, you, you really can kind of. Um, but if my mom went in there, she might be like, oh, my gosh, this place is yeah. horrible. And I but was if you, scared. Yeah, you know? right. But if you're reading like, oh, my gosh, this place was horrible and I was scared and my kids and my grandkids wouldn't have, you know, then you're like, Okay, well, that's you know. Yeah, no, yeah, I, no that's I, the thing I, about. I, I know what you're saying. For I know sure. what you're saying. Yeah. Um, actually, let's you know you're talking about following friends and stuff. In you know, obviously, a lot of my friends on Yelp, they're you know they have the little elite tag or sign next to their name. What explain what what is the Yelp elite? I mean, and what is their role with Yelp? What why are they important? Right. So Yelp, uh, we call it the Yelp Elite Squad, right? So people who are on the Yelp Elite Squad are um, sort of our exemplary Yelpers, right? right? They are, it's a nominated position, right? So they are nominated to be um, kind of one of Yelp's, uh, like you say, exemplary people. And they have, like you say, this uh, little badge that's on their profile. And that goes off to headquarters and they either give them the thumbs up or the thumbs down. And they're sort of the, um, yeah, they're just, they're, 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 they write detailed reviews and they're active on the side and contributing. And it's just our way of recognizing them. Um, and then part of my job is to get together with the elite squad. We get together, we try to get together about once a month and, and I'll throw, um, you know, kind of these VIP events throughout the, the, the city at uh, local businesses to get together so people can get to know face to face the other yelpers and they can get to know some of these businesses and and uh, yeah it's a super And you have to be Yelp elite though to come to these parties or Yeah, so they get a private okay. private invitation to the parties and usually it's just, you know, I mean we've done some I you know I've thrown a Tell me let's yeah, tell me what are, what are a couple of the recent ones that you've done. Uh recently, so we threw uh back to our, what we, I called the back to school bash. Okay. That was at a place called Rice uh, Fusion Cuisine and Sushi Bar on State Street. And uh, they, I mean, they just kept bringing out food, man. It was a great event. We had, um, you know, it was back to school themed. So I had everybody, invited everybody to wear like a, a, a T-shirt or a shirt from their yeah. school representing. Uh, and then we had a chopsticking class. We had, they, they had a sushi making class. They had a, a Vietnamese spring roll class. We had uh, a little detention, so uh, I pulled people in the other room, their party room there, and they had to fill out a worksheet about 80s uh, high school movies. Um, you know, just big, goofy, fun parties like that. That was a, that was a good one. We had, um, we called it National Yelpoon's European Vacation at this place called Cafe Bellaru, which is uh, all the way out in South Jordan. And, uh, you know, kind of a European bistro that yeah. had some Italian, kind of Italian feel going on. And so we did a little group art project and... Which sounds kind of lame when I say it, but it was no. actually really, really fun. Um, you know, I took photos and sent everybody a postcard after the event. Uh, you know, we've done pajama parties. We've done, um, we had the big uh, Yelper party, which was open to all Yelpers, not just the Elite Squad. That was last March. We had a big Pi Day party on 3.14, right? Pi Day. Pi Day, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and then um, you you did something recently at Sammy's, right? Sammy's like with some pie shakes or something recently. Yeah. So that was so I do a lot. I mean, I do a well, lot of. So that was a, just a different party in general. Yeah, that wasn't yeah. really an elite party. Though. Right. 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 That was so not. so back to these elite parties. Though, yes. So it really gives you an incentive to get involved with Yelp then. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean to, it, to write reviews, to get involved, to become elite, so you can come and hang out and have a good time and, and hang out with Jeff and and and, and yeah, why and, not? That's, that's <laughs> really the big deal. Is people are after hanging out with me. That's what most people say. No, I, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, there is, I guess, that incentive. But I got to be honest with you, um, people who are on the elite squad, I think, are just, just fun people to be oh, around the in best, general. The nicest, the best people, you know, um, just. Just like the coolest thread of people um, in Salt Lake City, people who know a ton about local businesses and where's a great place to eat. And I mean, we sit down with with, with I sit down with some of these Yelpers and say, "Oh, have you been to this restaurant?" And they'll say, "Oh yeah, before it was this, and the owner came from here. And before it was that restaurant, it was this restaurant. Before that, it was a bar, and that chef came over." I mean, people who are just plugged in. I mean, that's really who the Elite Squad is. So yeah, it's an incentive for them to get involved. But you know what? These people will be writing reviews. No matter what, they can't help it. They love to talk about what's great and not great. Do you, do you find that 
the people that are heavily involved with Yelp are more concerned about local businesses versus, say, checking into a a, a, a Walmart or, or something, you know what I mean, the big yeah. chain stores and write, oh, I've got to write a review on, you know, Walmart or, you know, yeah. something like that. It's like th- that's not as important to them as, say, writing a review about a new restaurant yeah. or, or, or their favorite little dive bar or yeah. something like that. Yeah. I mean, I can't speak for everybody individually, but as a, as a whole, yeah, these are people who – really love to know about those great hole-in-the-wall Vietnamese restaurants or that really, really, really cool boutique or, you know, this this really great mechanic who has crazy hours, but he's really good at what he does. I mean, mm-hmm. the, that's the kind of that's the kind of people that, that uh, I think are on the elite squad and, and who, who are Yelpers in general. I mean, yeah. there's a ton of people yelping, um, you know, and we all, you know, we, we all have to go to Target sometimes. Well, I think. yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Um, but I think, but I think, I think that's one of the great things about Yelpers, and one of the great things about Yelp is people want to. I, I think people really want to support local business. I mean, not just because it's this new, like, hey, shop local, trendy thing, but I mean, people really want to keep the money in, in Salt Lake City, and sometimes they just don't know where to go. I mean, we're so used to the convenience of the big box stores mm-hmm. or. Uh, you know, I not you know I'm not drinking the big box hater right here. I'm just saying there are some really great local businesses. We're just trying to help you. Find well, no, out and what, that's where that's they are. that's what I love about Yelp because I mean that's what I'm even trying to come across with the podcast is let's keep you know Salt Lake City Salt in Salt Lake. You know, let's keep the money here. Let's keep the business here. Let's support the businesses. Let's let's love the city that we live in. And I think with Yelp, it really helps you take that to the next level of really knowing what's going on. Yeah. And you have message boards on Yelp. You can, mm-hmm. you, you can, you can get involved that way with like, Hey, you know, asking questions. I mean, I've looked at that a few times and, and even have found some, some good information that way. Yeah. Yeah. We have the, like, I mean, Salt Lake city is just the nicest place in the world. So yeah. our talk boards are so polite you know? yeah. <laughs> compared to other cities. You know? I mean, you know, you get a ton of people on any, you know, anonymous or any talk talk board. And, and, uh, uh, I think Yelp, I think Yelpers are just super used. I mean, you can go on there and, you know, we get a lot of people who come in town, for example, for Sundance. Hey, I'm coming to, for Sundance. What should I, what should I see? And, you know, that happens every year and every year, uh, Yelpers are really patient and say, you know, here, here's some new things in town or here's what's going on. Maybe check this out. Um, it, it's just a great yeah. resource. Yeah. The talk, talk boards. So, you know, you see a lot of businesses come and go mm-hmm. in Salt Lake, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? What are some things that you see have a couple of things that maybe businesses tend to overlook, and thus why they're not successful? I mean, they say say somebody's a business owner and they're listening in. What what are what are a few things that you notice that uh, businesses continue to do that that maybe cause them to not be successful? Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, of course, I'm going to start with Yelp. Uh, yeah, but I mean, there, we offer a ton of free tools to yeah. business owners and I mean, really, I mean, you go in and you do what's called claim your business page, right? So you say, Hey, I'm the owner of this business and I want to, I want to claim this page. And then once we verify it's really you, uh, and that's a super quick, fast and free process, right? We give people the ability to respond to their reviews. You can get an email update every time you get a new review. Um, we let people, um, check their site traffic, see how many people are, are, you know, generating directions from the app and calling from the app and how many people are visiting their page. Um, we let people do a check-in offer. You can add a ton of info, your history, you know, meet the owner, all this kind of stuff. And this is all free, all for, free. The, free for the business. Person. All free, yeah. Uh, you know, so reaching out to the Yelp community and just making yourself known. And then, um, you know, that, that's, a, that's a huge thing that people can do. And if you're, if you're a business owner and you're listening, start at biz.yelp.com, B-I-Z.yelp. Dot com. I mean, other things, don't ever underestimate service. I mean, you know, you see places that have really, really great food or really, really great shoes or making really, really great clothes. Mm-hmm. But if you walk in and you don't feel welcome and you don't, well, you just don't want to go, you're not going to yeah, want to go back. Absolutely. Um, you know, I think it's tough. I mean, especially if staff turns over to get people trained. And I mean, I get it. I get I get the uh, you know the difficulty, you know when you're trying to make a great product and 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 uh, you know to to really focus on the service, but service goes goes a really long way. So I think that's one of the things. Um, 
there, there, some of it's really you know dependent on what kind of what kind of business it is. Yeah, um, well, no, and obviously that's kind of a vague question. I guess I was just kind of you know curious. You know, you you visit a lot of local businesses. I do. You know, and and I'm sure you see things that people do repetitively. Without without knowledge, they don't even know what they're doing, and then all of a sudden they don't understand. Well, why am I not successful? Why do I got to get out, go out of business? You know, I just thought well, maybe you had a few tips for yeah for yeah, people that yeah. I mean, it's you know, just knowing your knowing who your customer is, yeah. and and uh, you know, like I say, customer service. You know, um, I don't think you can ever spend too much time on training your staff and staying up to date, and then. Um, you know, once you enter that social media realm, I mean, there's a right way and a wrong way to be doing social media. I think one of the biggest things, and this goes for social media or traditional media or, or just customer service or just being a business owner, but, like, just be genuine. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just be who you are. Like, if you're a, a really small boutique with a really niche focus, own it. You know what I mean? Don't try to be everything to everybody. Own your niche, you know? I mean, I don't know. This is the Yelp guy. Did, Dishing out advice to business owners, no, but no, uh, I think I think if anybody sees business, it's you. You're involved with it all yeah, day long. Yeah, yeah. But you know that being said, um, hopefully those are pretty few and far between. I mean, I see some amazing businesses doing some stuff that even five or ten years ago you'd be like, that, that blows my mind that we have that going on in Salt Lake City. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm pretty. In, I, I guess I see more of the restaurant side of things. Um, but you know, there's some stuff opening now that where you go. Have you always lived in Salt Lake? Pretty besides going to school and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you grew up here, yeah, born and, and stuff, So you, yeah, you, born and you, you've, you've seen the city yeah. change a lot. For sure, for sure. I mean, I, th- I, you know, pho, right? One of my favorite things in the world: Vietnamese beef broth soup. You know, you'd think pho, like, oh yeah, there's a place to get pho. And I wrote a, a weekly about pho almost two years ago, and at that point, there was already like seven or eight or nine places to get it and there's at least a dozen now it, it blows my mind korean i thought oh yeah there's a korean place and i wrote a whole issue about korean food like there's like six or eight places to get korean food around here wow just blows my so mind. What, what are some up-and-coming restaurants i mean we're, we're talking about food i mean what what are some places that you've been to say in the last couple of months or just a handful of places that you just blow in your mind food wise yeah, it, it's it's interesting. I, it, speaking of new restaurants, I just yeah. opened. I just uh, wrote this uh, weekly uh, about new restaurants that have opened. Um, every about, about every six months, I try to do yeah. like a new restaurant yeah, okay. roundup. Um, I, I mean, I think right now I'm kind of waxing poetic about 2012, right? Seeing the the stuff that's kind of the the end of the year and seeing the stuff that's that's opened up. And um, you know, I think over the last little while, we've seen places like um, places like Plum Alley. That opened. I think maybe that was the end of 2011. Either uh, it's fairly new. It's yeah, yeah. It was. New. I know they were aiming for like September, or October. I think it was maybe December of last year. So, you know, a place like that that's like Asian. I mean, I hate the phrase Asian fusion because it's like so nondescriptive. <laughs> but like Asian street food inspired, kind of like a playful twist on those kinds of things. Yeah. Like, you know, holy cow! Like, that's amazing. That's great. Um. You know that we have a, a, a let's see what else. Well, this 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 Southern and Soul Food place, Papa O's, that just opened up. Pretty good stuff. Huh? Uh, I, they I talked to them today and they said you've been out yet. I said I just found out about you guys, okay. so I haven't been out there yet. There's um, you know, the, the, we've had you know like a new steakhouse open up. Kind of, I, I think we're seeing more cool stuff. Kind of, uh, move a little further out, right? So we've had um. You know, some stuff in downtown Salt Lake City for a while, like the Copper Onion that's kind of pushing the edges of things. And, of course, Forage, which is now several years old. And, and But we're seeing, like, more cool stuff. The Bake 360, I think, in Draper comes to mind, which is a new bakery down there that's doing some, some kind of cool twists on pastries and stuff. So, yeah, I think, um, I mean, really, it's just, it's really, really awesome to see this happening in Salt Lake City, to see... Not only the, the the food, but you know the the shopping and the kind of the focus on local really take root. I mean, I'm sitting, you well, know, you're, you're, it's the sorry Clementine in sorry show. Clementine, yeah, yeah, you know, um, and I think that speaks volumes to that we have enough of a population that's interested in that kind of thing that that, that says, you know what, yeah, I know I can go to the to the big stores, but I want to check out what this what this lady's doing. 
Yeah. Um, that's just great. What's been the most rewarding thing for yourself working with Yelp? I mean, uh, wow, that's a, that's a, it's, it, you know, part of it is that part of it, you know, before I worked for Yelp, I was traveling a ton and I was gone 250 days a year plus. And so and I did that for four, over four years. So, I mean, I was gone for a lot of time. And so coming back and really just falling back in love with Salt Lake City has been you know, in such a way that I, I mean, it's, I went from hardly being here at all to like living, breathing, eating Salt Lake City local businesses and, and, and local businesses really is, is local people, right? Mm-hmm. So getting to know those people, making those connections, those relationships, and then, you know, the Yelpers are just some of the most amazing people that I know, you know, really vibrant, really, really multidimensional, interesting, fascinating, quirky, crazy, exciting, passionate people. And I get to hang out with them all the time. Well, I mean, you really have like probably like at least my dream job. It's the I best. Mean, it's I the mean, best. Seriously, seriously. I mean, I, I love Salt Lake City. I love local business. I mean, I'm jealous of you. It's the best job in the world. <laughs> and I don't, I don't take that for granted. And I don't say that lightly. I mean, yeah. You know, I, there's a lot of work that goes into it, but, uh, you know, seeing something like the Pi Day Party where I talk with six or eight restaurants and pie places and, and you know, mobile food people and, and local music and, and local products, and I bring them all together and we have this huge party for hundreds of people in downtown Salt Lake City, that's pretty rewarding to see all that come to fruition. Is there other people in the area that work for Yelp? Or are you the only Yelp representative then in the area? I'm the guy. I have an intern now. We okay. call him Mantern. Okay. Because uh, he, he's a man and he's my intern. So why not call him the Mantern? And I mean, you know, you do some, you know, talk. Okay, the first time I met you, and I'm going to say this for the record, the first okay, it was my, it was actually about a year ago. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share this story. This, this is the most, this is the most epic story. It's my my 34th birthday party. Yeah. And. Amy, my 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 sister in law, which you're who you're friends with, she mentioned, "Hey, I got I got Jeff from Yelp's here." Oh, cool! You know, I'm I, I've had a few too many drinks, you know, <laughs> and and I find out that you have a cotton candy machine in your car. So you 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 bring this cotton candy machine into my house, yeah, and you set it up on the table. I mean, this is a full blown cotton candy machine. The f- yeah. And, Industrial and you start making machine. some cotton candy for everybody. And I mean, this is the kind of rad stuff that you're doing. You're spreading Yelp love. Every day. <laughs> Every day. You know? That, that was uh, truly one of the great experiences in my life, to spin cotton candy for drunkies. It was. You know? I, had to, the, the, I don't, for those of you listening, don't think that you can flag the Yelp guy down no, in time no, and he has no, a cotton candy no, machine. no. I had just come from KRCL Polar Jubilee, yeah. right? And I, we were, Yelp was sponsoring, and so we were there, and we were spinning cotton candy and making uh, popcorn. It was a circus, yeah, uh, or carnival themed event, right? Which my, all my birthday parties are, so that's why. It fit right, in well. perfect. And I just happened to stop by and, and yeah. spin cotton candy. We're sponsoring again this year, and this year we're doing snow cones. My birthday, coincidentally? No, well, maybe if it's the same night. I'm probably because it's it, yeah. All right, hit me up, and I'll stop by and make <laughs> snow cones for everybody. Snow cones for my birthday. No, so yeah. that was that was. That was how I was introduced yeah. to, to, to you. And no, I mean there is nothing like we. So we want to we want to be involved in really cool local events. Yeah, like we're not um, we're not going to set up a table and hand out literature. Like yeah. that's just not our flavor to do stuff. So we go to festivals and fairs. You know, we sponsored Beer Fest last year and we made pretzel necklaces with everybody. Um, you know, I tell folks who are throwing really cool events and festivals and. All, all that kind of stuff going on. Like, yeah, we'd love to support you if we can find a way to make it work. We'd love to be there. If you want to have us there and we'll run a Jello slip and slide, great. We'll run a Jello slip and slide. Like, nothing is outside the realm of possibility. That's what I love is, you know, I really get to do what's best for Salt Lake City. Yeah. And I have a lot of freedom to, to, to just do stupid, wacky, But that's crazy what's great stuff. about it. You know what? I mean, people remember you. People I remember hope. Yelp. I hope. You know what no. I thought was even neat at Craft Lake City when you're and, and I don't know maybe you do it at all of them, but you could plug in your your, your smartphone or your iPhone or whatever and charge it right there at your booth. Was it yeah. wasn't yeah. that at your booth if I remember correct? Yeah. And 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 to me that was rad. That was like okay, that's that is cool. Yeah, you we know, and and yeah. I don't know if you do that at all your events to plug in. Your we did, we did a couple. Yeah, this yeah we did a few events where we said you know let's let's help these people have some love on social media. So we set up the social media station yeah. for Craft Lake. We did it at ninth and ninth. So. Yeah, we just said, you know, let's get everyone on the same page for Twitter and Instagram and get them checking into Yelp. 
craft like this great thing where if you checked in on Yelp, you got half off your T-shirt. It was, and then yeah, we just had charging. Yeah, I mean, we just want to do fun, memorable stuff. We have a wheel. You can spin the wheel of Yelp. Uh, you know, we play stupid games, whatever. We just want to have fun at, at at events and and hopefully you remember us and and we'd love to have. I'd love to have everybody yelping. Yeah, I'd love to have. You know, the whole city on the LP Elite Squad and throw massive parties for everybody. Could you imagine that? That would be... Hey, I mean, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, you know, we, we, we started throwing these events and, and doing stuff. And, and, you know, to see almost a year ago now the Pi Day party where we had like hundreds and hundreds of people. I mean, you know, the next big, big party I throw that's open to everybody, you know, it's going to be the biggest ever in Salt Lake. And we're going to have hundreds and hundreds more. So, yeah, we'll get there. When you're not busy on Yelp... And you're not. Big. What 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 are some what what are some other things you enjoy? A little bit about Jeff here. If you could explain to me what not busy on Yelp means, that'd be great. <laughs> I mean, so you, I mean, come on. There's got to be a, free, yeah, yeah, a yeah. few no. seconds of free time. For sure. What, what, For what, sure. What are some other hobbies and interests of Jeff? I baked uh, chocolate cherry bread today. Just for fun. Just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah, I I found this book. I don't know where I got it, and I saw a recipe for chocolate cherry bread and i thought well that sounds good so i i just baked up a loaf i I, I cook and i bake um i actually spend a lot of time outdoors i've done hiking and backpacking and camping um i wrote a camping book a few years ago which you can find uh at rei and barnes and noble and hmm? so i'm with i'm with a famous author too (laughs) yeah yeah what's the camping book about i i did Uh, not know this it's it's called the best intent camping utah um, and it, uh, like I say, it's you can find it at REI in the store or online, at Amazon, Barnes and Noble, or whatever. Uh, it's just about I took um, and boiled down campgrounds to the 50 best in Utah. I mean, I visited, you know, I put about eight, 8,500 miles on my truck driving around the state looking at campgrounds. Wow. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I wrote it in 2000, came out in 2000. Gosh, I'm gonna get this wrong. 2005 or 2006. Wow. So something I did not know about Jeff. There you have it. There you have it. I'm yeah. gonna have to I'm gonna probably go find that book tomorrow and, yeah, and buy it and get you to autograph it. I'll do it. Yeah, it's about, you know, uh places off the beaten path a little bit. So you know, away from the RVs a little bit and you know, a little more quiet. I, I, I do a lot of um I try to do some 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 tent camping, but I also mostly do backpacking, so I'm out like miles in the backcountry off the trail. Awesome. What is something, I mean, now granted, I know you love Salt Lake City, mm-hmm. and, I, and, and what is something that you would change about Salt Lake City if you could? Oh, there's so much great, I mean. And, I, and that's what, I'm, I'm not no, trying to focus on the negative, I'm no, just curious what something that you would make different. I guess, I guess, you know, as we've been talking, I've been thinking about Yelpers and what makes them so cool. Um, and I, I know that sounds like really cheesy, and like I'm no. like pumping up my own peeps, but... Honestly, like Yelpers are just, you know, it's the people are drawn who really love local business and who really, you know, they, they, they're just, uh, they let you have your thing. You know what I mean? Like we, a lot of the events that we throw, there's, um, there's, there's some, there's some liquor involved. Um, and people who drink, drink and people who don't, don't, and there's really no discussion about it. You know what I mean? I I just think, um, I've seen, you know, I've seen, I've seen that, that, uh, we can all just get along. Yeah. Uh, and I think, uh, I think I'm seeing that in Salt Lake City now, and it's really fun to watch. And sometimes, you know, it's a little frustrating. We always want to speed up the process. But, uh, I mean, it's happening, and I think it'll keep happening. Isn't it fun to watch Salt Lake City just become a normal city? <laughs> I mean, and, 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 and I know that sounds funny to say, but I think it's, ju- it's, it's just a city. It, it, people were so, you know, it's like, oh, it's Salt Lake City. You know, but it's like, this, we got a rad city here. We do, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I hope we never become a normal city. I mean, I hope we well, take. Okay, the, we, yeah, I, th- yeah. I hope we take the best of, um, you know, our heritage here, and I hope we take the best of the, um, the the people and the community, and uh, you know, it really is a great place to raise a family. I hope we take those things, and just maybe, open up the arms and 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 open up that embrace and hug a few more people in there and, and you know I, like, I, mean? I, I like that i like that better than just saying oh normal city because i mean obviously yeah. you know you want to keep your roots yeah I, but yeah i think i think for so long people had this salt lake city strange type of thing but you know what we're just like every other place too yeah you know we have our we have our roots where we come from and and, and stuff and it is a great place to raise a family for sure but 
Yeah. It's kind of like you were saying, you know, people that drink can drink, people that don't can, and, and everybody gets along fine. <laughs> so anyways, Jeff, what, what, uh, how can people get in touch with you? I mean, what, uh, how can, what, what's the best way? To All right, it? let's lay it down here. Uh, okay. So Yelp is, uh, I am at, uh, Jeffrey SLC dot Yelp dot com J E F F R E Y S L C dot Yelp dot com is my own like profile page on Yelp. Okay, uh, you can just find us at Yelp dot com. I'm all over on there. So and, I, and I'm going to put all these links on the I am Salt dot com website too. So Super don't feel cool. like it, people, you know, if you're not catching all this, but okay. feel you know. Yeah, yeah. So Yelp dot com. Um, download the app for you know Android, iPhone, Windows Phone, BlackBerry. You can go to the your the your uh, the app store or Google Play store or whatever store you go to get your apps. It's free. Uh, I'm on Twitter. You can follow us at Yelp Utah. Uh, on Instagram, Yelp SLC. I post a lot of food porn on there. Um, I like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah. You know, or just, you know, whatever uh, event or stuff that I'm at. I just throw stuff out there. Um, uh, if you want to keep in touch with Yelp events that are going on, you can go to yelp.com slash events. We're gearing up right now to actually do this big event, kind of large scale long term through the holidays shopping promotion called Yelp Shops Local. We did it last year. We went out and supported a lot of really local markets, local businesses. Um, uh, you know, we'll have people take a pledge to say I'm going to shop local and you can find all that at yelp.com slash events and then cruise the event section for any other events. You know, we do, um, you know, I do what's called CMYEs, community manager Yelp events. So like anybody's welcome to come to those. They're small, 10, 15, 20 people where we all go get pizza or something. Yeah. Um, where else can you find me? That's yeah, it. F- Facebook though. Didn't, didn't oh, yeah. Yelp yeah, that's a new, that's a new thing. Facebook, right? I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Find us, uh, on Facebook at, uh, Yelp Salt Lake City. Yelp, so Instagram, are you still doing the Instagram or no? Not yeah, really. Yeah, that's the f- where we have the food, po- food porn. Okay, picks. okay. Maybe, maybe you mentioned yeah. that. Yeah, well, I, was, I had my personal Instagram, uh, but we also have a Yelp Instagram. And that Yelp SLC or something? Yelp like SLC, yeah. Excellent. That's us. Excellent. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and obviously, if anybody has any questions, if they want to, un- I mean, they can contact you as well. If they, you know what I mean? If they're, I downloaded the app, I don't understand it. I mean, what or is that more customer service? I guess. Well, that, we, that the would best, yeah, be. the best place. A lot of your questions can be answered at Yelp.com/contact, yeah. and there's a ton of different drop-down stuff. But if you want to shoot me a note and just say, "Yo, I joined Yelp, give me the down low," I'd love to hear from you. So, yeah. um, you can send uh, messages through the site. Um, once you're logged in, you can either find me, and there's a little thing below my name that says "send message," yeah. or you can just go to Yelp.com/mail, and uh, you know, punch me up there and, and send me a message. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I love. I mean, I talk to Yelpers. Every day, all, all day. day. That's yeah. your job. That's my job. You got you got questions. Usually, Yelp dot com contact can uh, you can find the, the answers to those questions or Yelp dot com FAQ. But but yeah, I mean, hit me up. I'd love to hear from you. And then you know, come out and we'll meet and, and you know, buy you a cup of coffee and and welcome you into the Yelp community. Seriously, what an awesome guy. Thank you very much, Jeffrey, for sitting down with me and taking a few minutes out of your day to share your Yelp story and how you got involved and what Yelp does for the local community. So seriously, check them out, yelp.com. I listed all the links over at uh, iamsaltlake.com forward slash episode 20, episode 20. So That's going to link you up with their Facebook, their Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Check them out. Download the app on your smartphone and uh, start yelping today. So it helps out with the local community. So, again, if you want to help out with the podcast, uh, your help is much appreciated. Toss us over a dollar or two at uh, IamSaltLake.com forward slash donate. It's going to connect you with uh, the PayPal and uh, send us on over a dollar or two. It helps out with the hosting fees and any uh, traveling expenses that we accrue. You can also help out my wife's store. Sorry, Clementine. She's located downtown 366 South 5th East, number 104. Uh, it's the Ray Building. She's been really awesome with letting me do a lot of recordings there and uh, talk to uh, individuals there and do some interviews. So any help that you can give her, it helps me and helps the podcast out. Also, leave us a review on iTunes as well as Stitcher Radio where you can find us. Constructive criticism, I am Salt Lake at gmail.com is always fun. Anyways, all the information is at IamSaltLake.com. I'm going to leave you for now. I'm going to be back on Wednesday with a new individual, a new professional, somebody who's making Salt Lake City just a little bit better. You guys have an awesome night. Thank you, Salt Lake City, for your continual support.